your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather forecast with meteorologist Vanessa Alonzo. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on Sunrise. The time now is 518. We are waking up this morning on a quiet note. Nothing compared to what we woke up to 24 hours ago with showers and thunderstorms moving in, making way for what was a very active Easter Sunday for us. Here are the tornado reports from the last 24 hours, of course, we've been getting confirmed reports of tornadoes in Monroe, Louisiana, into Knox B County, in our viewing area, and of course, those two violent large tornadoes in southern Mississippi. Of course, for us locally, you just saw the report from Stephanie Poole from the damage in Knox B County, and you saw that video of what looked to be a tornado on the ground north of Macon. So the National Weather Service office in Jackson will be looking at the damage today to determine if it was a tornado or straight line winds, and if it was a tornado, what scale on the enhanced Fujita scale was it determining on how strong the winds were in Knoxabee County when that storm pushed through. And of course, we had those two very strong violent tornadoes. We saw the hook echoes on the radar during our wall-to-wall -wall coverage yesterday, especially in Sosa, where we saw some video on social media of what looked to be a very large wedge tornado there. So it was a very serious situation for our friends in southern Mississippi yesterday. And also that other storm that went through Rentis. Now, these two tornadoes kind of went through the same area. So these people got a one-two punch from this. Of course, the National Weather Service office in Jackson will be looking over that damage today as well. So here's the breakdown of how things were for us yesterday on this very active Easter Sunday 2020. Of course, we woke up to showers and thunderstorms yesterday, and then we saw that one cell that pushed into Attila County and brought in that Tornado warned stormed into Noxabee and eventually into Pickens County. You also saw the damage video that Barry, Bobby Martinez shot yesterday as well. So we're going to be waiting and seeing on the storm reports from those two counties on that. And of course, the reports from the southern part of the state. And then we had a break yesterday evening around 8, 9 o'clock. And then we watched this other line, this squall line, kind of like bowing out, bring in some strong winds into the area, prompting severe thunderstorm warnings around 9, 10 o'clock last night. By midnight, the entire event was over for us. Of course, many of you are probably waking up to branches from your trees this morning because of the high winds that we got overnight. I've been getting some viewer pictures, so I'm hoping to share that with you later on. On in the show. The system that brought us the severe weather yesterday has now pushed off to the East Coast. Look at all of these severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings taking place right now from the Carolinas down through Georgia into the Florida Panhandle. It's kind of like a bow echo. It's bowing out. Thankfully for us, we're dealing with more quiet weather moving in right now. Temperatures right now sitting in the 50s, only topping out in the lower 60s today for high temperatures. So, Eric, it's definitely going to be a more quiet, cooler week for us overall. A few chances of some showers here and there, but nothing compared to what we dealt with yesterday on Easter Sunday. We'll send it back to you, Eric. Thanks, Vanessa.